So, hi everybody. Uh, we are going to continue our tutorial uh, with Kinter. We we are taking a look at uh, Canvas, and we're going to make something um, that is quite interesting. Wanted to draw a rectangle on the screen and make it uh, move all around like we like it was a sort of video game and we will see how to do it line by line in uh, in the fastest way that we can so we import tkinter tkinter as tk as usual and then we make our window and after that we are going to create our canvas um, where we are going to Okay, hello. Now we are going to put width and height. Um, I wanna, um, I wanna make the width, uh, the width. Um, I wanna make it four hundred and the height four hundred. So I can also make this. And then I want to make the width equal width and the height equal height. And so these are the dimension. And I want to also put, uh, let me say here, y x1 equal, uh, yes, y1 equal. Uh, with slash slash two, so uh, for the coordinates in the middle. Um, now um, I want to draw a rectangle, so I have to say canvas equal. Uh, no, sorry, uh, canvas dot create uh, create a rectangle, and and then the coordinates will be x1, y1, x1 plus 10, and y1 plus 10. So we made our rectangle with nothing in it. Let me canvas the packet so it is visible. Now I want to move the rectangle around. So I want to move it with the uh, when I press some buttons, so I got a root bind, bind, sorry, and uh, when I press a key, uh, I will take some action here with the definition move. So let's say, let's define move, our function with event, and I wanna make something. I wanna, first of all, use the global x1, y1, um and then i want to say if um, event dot char that is the character that i'm pressing is equal a and uh, then it do something and it just creates canvas or um, i may create something and uh, i can delete uh, delete rect and uh, going here in this variable and then I wanted to uh, x1 plus equal 1 um, and then I'm we'll copy and paste here I'm oh, sorry copy and paste paste copy and paste okay um, now this will be elif else if elif so when i press instead of uh i press d it will go in the opposite direction so it will be less when i press w it will go up and so i will say epsilon one uh, minus one i think and then if i press s i will go down on classic keys and this is on the Y. Then we are going to, at the end, I wanted to draw, 
to write another function to put it in the right draw right let's define it I want to create a new rectangle I'm gonna copy this and and so I want to draw it again then let me um, let me do this and I will delete delete the rectangle this one will be uh, filled with green color and this one will be instead fill um, white okay we just have to now just to put the main loop down here main loop and then let's see if everything is all right maybe let's go here it is a rectangle and let's try to move it okay it goes in the wrong direction it goes up it goes down the color is not right so let's a and g this is minus one this is plus but this is 10 let's say 10 10 10 and 10 let's run it okay now it works in the way i want it and here is our little square green square that goes around and leaves a trace this could be a game or something like that or just something to paint fancy things on the screen or just something to learn thinker okay thank you uh to the next